I can't believe I'm saying this, but one thing they had their upper hand on, though, was global chat. This is Clash of Clans. You can probably easily recognize anyone playing it by simply hearing the intro sound and seeing random colors mixed in with green. But as usual, when something is as popular as Clash of Clans, there's bound to be clones of the game. I mean, it's not hard to find one either. Just type Clash of in any app store and you're a couple taps away from meeting the villager's long lost sister. Today, we're going to be looking at some of these clones and see if they're actually any good or just a complete ripoff trying to cash in. Era of War. <laughs> so far, so good. Other than the villager looking very uncomfortable and uh, stale, this is an obvious clone of the Clash of Clans villager. She rambles on about you being the master, the chosen one, and this being your poor ass base, and yada yada. And you finally get to build some stuff. Now, from a glance, the shop doesn't look too bad. Everything but the worker's hut looks original, right? Mmm. Never mind. Okay, a few copy buildings isn't so bad, eh? We finally get to training some stuff, and the barracks seems okay. I can tell that that's supposed to be an archer, but all the others I can't seem to figure out just yet. The campaign map looks interesting, I'm not gonna lie, I have to give it to them. But holy crap, your first campaign mission is basically a Town Hall 6. Also, I thought I trained like 10 barbarians. Where'd all this come from? Anyways, other than the Archer Towers feeling like a copy and paste directly from Clash of Clans, the attacking was fairly simple. Although, I think they reused some of the Clash of Clans sounds as well. Not looking too good. They seriously thought nobody would notice. I went home with some wood, food, and zero elixir. Apparently in this game, elixir is like a dark elixir, so um, yeah, I don't know. Jesus! I thought it couldn't get worse. There are some obvious inspirations here, but I gotta ask, is that literally a level 1 wall from Clash of Clans taken from Google? Remember the barracks? Well, unsurprisingly, all those troops are just the same exact from Clash of Clans, but with a different name and sort of a different image. We basically have the Barbarian, Archer, Goblin, Giant, Wallbreakers, the Dragon. This game is literally the definition of a Clash of Clans clone. It's Clash of Clans, but it just does everything worse. And for the most part, the game was very buggy and broken. I couldn't find a player to attack, which meant either nobody was online playing or their servers are just offline. I have no idea. After trying to find a player when going back home, the game glitched out and displayed no buttons. So I tried to log back in the game, but no success. So that's where my review ended. Clans of Heroes. The game didn't open. But I saw some screenshots and they looked pretty promising. I really wanted to check this one out, but yeah, we can't. Clash of Zombies 2. This game starts off with some comics about heroes or whatever. I don't really know. I didn't really pay attention. Then you dive right into another huge battle. I hate when games start you off with something that you probably won't achieve for like two years or until you drop a lot of money. Anyways, from a glance, the game doesn't look like a Clash of Clans clone. Yet, it isn't until you finish that first battle that you start to sense something is sus about the game. Ah yes, there it is. The shop! Did they even try, holy cow. To be fair, Clash of Clans has changed this already, so it doesn't look like Clash of Clans, but come on. It wasn't that long ago, we know where this came from. Also, I might be crazy, I don't know, but are the bird sounds in the background the same exact sound from Clash of Clans? Wow. So, most buildings share similar names, and a lot of them look like they've been heavily inspired by Clash of Clans. 
No doubt, like a cannon, archer tower, wizard tower, mortar, wall, air defense, tesla, if something is that obvious to distinguish, it's clear they didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking of ideas for this game. And I know what you're thinking, they couldn't think of anything else, so they just kinda like took the ideas. No. There are a lot of ideas you can incorporate to a game. Hey, the Archer Tower, Cannon, Wizard Tower, that's not the only defenses that a game like this can use. But the game isn't a complete ripoff. Their troop system was too complicated for me to figure out, but I know it's nothing like Clash of Clans. At least they have one unique thing. Also, their battles. Although a very stale gameplay experience, it wasn't a direct copy, but the game could have done a way better job at hiding where they get their ideas from. It's a clear inspiration. I can't believe I'm saying this, but one thing they had their upper hand on though, was Global Chat. Sadly, I couldn't chat because apparently I needed to be the equivalent of a Town Hall 6, but it was great to see some form of global chat in a game like this. Blaze of Battle. Um, I was told this was a Clash of Clans clone, but I don't see it. But then I remembered, wait a second, it's not the actual game being ripped off, it's their commercials. This game has copied so many Clash of Clans commercials, I haven't even found all of them yet. I'll pair some of these side by side so you can see this madness. It is literally the Clash of Clans commercial, but they tend to replace like the characters or sometimes if it's a gameplay footage, they replace their buildings, which looks retarded. I mean, if you hadn't played Clash of Clans before, you would think this is their game. But if you take a closer look, it just looks like they put their own pictures on top of a Clash of Clans base and called it a day. I don't even think this is legal. This is so bad. It's hilarious. Like you can even see some leftover buildings from Clash of Clans because they were like, you know what? I don't feel like making a town hall today. I'm just gonna leave the Clash of Clans one right there sitting in the corner. And the expo, yeah, I don't want to do that either. There is so many things wrong with this. It's also funny that the gameplay they're showing is never how the game looks. So, I don't know. It seems kind of sus. X War. This game... <laughs> no, no. <sighs> It doesn't need a lot of explaining. I mean, it plays and looks like someone just took Clash of Clans and reskinned everything, and there we go. Game is complete. Like many other games on the list, you start off attacking a big base, and there seems to be some sort of cheesy story that was written in two minutes. At first, the game doesn't look like a Clash of Clans clone. It isn't until after the first attack that you realize this is Clash of Clans with a fresh coat of paint. Everything from the troops, the buildings, the UI, <laughs> the UI, it's hilariously identical to Clash of Clans. I can't even. Now, of course, they have added some additional touches of their own. In this game, you save hostages or some crap like that. I don't even know. It honestly didn't fit in the game. I have <laughs> maybe they were looking for ideas on how to make this different from Clash of Clans, and the first thing they thought of was. Saving hostages and um, collecting them like a collection of cards. The good thing is that this game also has global. Of course, I had to do my part and ask if there were any girls. No one replied, but it was worth a shot. I did it, boys. Of course, there's a lot more Clash of Clans clones out there. I just wanted to look at some of the most funniest and obvious ones. And I mean, there's many ways to make a game like Clash of Clans and not seem so obvious about it. Just introduce new features, change up the style, gameplay, and come up with unique ideas. But these games were just not that. At least, I don't think so. I don't know. Like I said, I'm sure there's a lot more. If you guys have any more games you want me to check out for a future video, perhaps, let me know down below and I'll check it out. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!